good friend of mine, Brian Basher, joins us down here at Skydive Arizona. Brian, how are you? I'm good. Looking forward to being the dummy for this first interview. <laughs> <laughs> I've not seen you for a while. What have you been up to? Uh, I've just been working. I've kind of stood back, took a step back from serious competition. Um, I started competing a long time ago, like 03, first World Canopy World Cup, yeah. 2003. Um, so I was just kind of, yeah, taking a break from it all. Life moves on, you know. And what's the team then? You're still with the PD factory team, I take it, with the show? Yeah, and what's we call the PD, leg, PD legacy team, or yeah. the factory legacy team, which is basically, it's kind of like the mafia, you never leave. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're, I'm not in the competition team. The competition team changes as the new talent comes through. And they're we're, doing great things. We sure. were talking the other night about it when we, when we first met. You yeah. were one of the new kids on the block, yeah, and now the young sure. kids are kind of ribbing you a little bit about being one of the older guys. Yeah. It's incredible how it changes around. Now. Yeah, and so fast, you know. And that's the reason why I'm back as well, because um, to this to do this competition, just because the changes make it interesting again. So it was first happened with the Peregrine, you know, moving from the Comp Velo back in the day to then jumping the Peregrine, and it was like it so it relights the fire, yeah. and then. Uh, more recently, though, with the mutant harness from UPT, it's just just re changed everything and made everything unbelievably fun again, and everything's so fast and so far. So it's interesting again to come back and see what what's possible. Yeah. For me personally, I've been commentating CP now for over 10 years, and I can't get used. I can't get used yet to this speed of the yeah. mutant how it attacks upon. It's crazy. It's crazy, and the the, the way it flies is completely different. Um, and the uh, the way the way your inputs are inside the harness completely different to a regular harness, and uh, it makes a lot of fun. It's, it's something you have to relearn, yeah. and I'm still in that learning phase for sure. You know, yeah. um, but uh, it's it just makes everything happen quicker. You need to be more sensitive with the wing. Everything's much more exciting and challenging. All right, man. Well, I'll let you get on with it. I know it's yeah. early morning. You got a big start, but thanks, Brian. No worries. Take care. Right, Jay Hughes. <laughs> How's it going, doing it's right? not difficult to get your name right, is it? <laughs> no, first person in the comp. <laughs> you can you can beat him for canopy piloting for the UK. Tell me some of the names you've had. Uh, Gay Jane. Yeah. Um, Jazz. Yeah. Yasse. That's been lasting for six years. Yasse. Richard Huge. Yeah. Uh, and Chase. So what about CP Jazzy Jeff? <laughs> what do you think, guys? <laughs> Should we have it or what? <laughs> Jay, so tell me about your competition experience so far. Uh, first comp was Nationals 2018. Yeah. Um, then my first like proper comp actually competing happily was uh, Pink in 19. Uh, qualified for Team GB then went to South Africa in 2019. And then just because of COVID took a bit of a tight time off and the last Nationals job was uh, Pink just gone. Uh, finished fifth. Um, Have a fantastic day. I know you've got a busy time ahead, but uh, enjoy it. Yeah, thanks a lot. Really Chuck's with the Chuck Higgins. Chuck, good morning. Tell us your title of this event. Good morning, everybody. I'm head of delegation for week one of the uh, International Skydiving uh, Championships here. And then after that, I'll just be hanging out, uh, being cool and helping everybody do anything they need to do. And who's our new friend? This is Nathan Scholl. Nathan is our new uh, Canopy Piloting Team coach. First year part of management. It's a volunteer position. He's got to, uh, got to carry his own weight, but he's very interested in being part of team management. So that's why he's here. Nathan, tell me a bit about you. When did you get involved in the sport? Uh, so I started about two years ago, so I'm pretty fresh in the sport. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, just uh, getting started here, but definitely want to get uh, involved with uh, team management for the U.S. parachute team. And it's very honored that uh, Chuck asked me to uh, join. So what's your role going to be? How is it going to develop, do you think? Have you any, any idea yet or are you still finding out? So I'm kind of finding out as I'm on the ground here, but I think that uh, my role is just to ensure that the U.S. team has really everything that they need in order to perform at their highest level. And uh um, try to, I guess, fill any gaps in kind of logistics and things that uh, they have uh, going on around them. And what about this pond, Chuck? Oh, this is this is the Taj Mahal pond, is what I call it, <laughs> much like the Taj Mahal. Larry Hill, the owner of Skydive Arizona, spent an enormous amount of time, effort, and money to make this thing happen. Uh, I guess it's, I guess it was the Nationals was the first one that we had here, and it's it's a brilliant pond, a lot of technology involved in this pond, and it is truly the Taj Mahal pond. Oh, guys, thank you very much. We'll catch up with you a little bit later. Thanks very much. Thanks, Thanks very much. Nice to meet you.